Hello out there. This is DZ, your overlord, Deseran, and welcome back to Trilby's Notes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're back in again, and I think we must be getting close to the end. I'm assuming with what's going on here, we're going to get to, um, what was it? Look at Shingle. Um, yeah. I'm assuming, so with the numbers that we've been given, this must be victim two. An ancient shingle from an establishment called the Unicorn was leaning against one of the tables. Also, I have a very slightly different setup right now. It just makes it easier for me to use the keyboard. Since I have to type in this game. What's it saying? Could this have been the same unicorn mentioned by Jack Freehorn? The buzzing in my ears that manifested as I inspected the shingle indicated so. Uh, talk to a bed about shingle. Do you know anything about an inn called the Unicorn? Ah, you noticed my shingle. Okay, yeah. I picked it up as a curiosity at an antique fair a couple of years ago. Dates all the way back to the Elizabethan period from what I understand. But I just can't find a buyer for the damn thing. Don't suppose you have any clients who might go for it? Possibly. Do I have your permission to examine it? Of course. I may have to touch it to assess the texture. By all means do so. As long as you're not going to test its strength over your knee or anything. Touch. Shingle. Here we go. The shingle's design was a simple one. One of a unicorn's head in half profile, painted with the average ability on a dark oak backing. What now? Oh, here we go. As I pressed my fingertips to it, however, the design seemed to extru extrude from its backing like a hologram, and seemed to draw closer until my vision was filled with wood grain and mediocre brush strokes. I could vaguely detect the professor speaking to me on the very edge of hearing, but by the time I realized it, I was already gone. Yep. Back to the unicorn. Somewhere in Wales, July 28th, A.D. 1501. Owen Somerset, a traveling merchant, was on his way back to his wife and family in London, having concluded some business dealings with... business dealings in Ceredigion. Ceredigion? Don't know what that is. I mean, aside from, obviously, a location. Caught suddenly by a summer storm, he spied an inn by the side of the road and marveled at his good fortune. Uh-oh. Faith, tis an evil storm that blights the sky tonight. Aye, I must have the Almighty on my side to find myself so close an inn as it broke out. So close to an inn. Aye, perhaps. The innkeeper seemed quite taciturn, but Owen was in a good mood, and was determined for it not to leave him. Uh, determined for it not to leave him. Okay. It was probably too late to continue riding, even if the storm cleared. Owen decided to inquire after a room for the night. Uh, okay. Look around. 
The unicorn was small but secure, constructed from a combination of stone and English oak. The only furniture in the reception room was a bar and a bench for seating. Okay. Uh, look at bench. What? Oh, there's my mouse. The bench, where presumably merry guests would sit to quaff their ale, seemed surprisingly unused to Owen. Alright. Look at bar. The encounter was plain and unadorned, stained with long dried splashes of ale. Talk to innkeeper. What? Owen had to be more specific and talk to the innkeeper about something. Oh. Talk to innkeeper about a room. Good evening, sir. Would it be possible to secure a bed for the night? Be a wiser man than I. Go from this place and never return. I... what? There is a curse upon this inn. I will not have an innocent doomed to the same fate as I. Uh... Talk to innkeeper about curse. I have plenty of gold to pay for my board. The devil cannot be bought off, my friend. What devil? What is the nature of this curse? This inn was built by my father twenty years ago. From the wood of a fallen oak he stumbled upon on an island north of here. He noticed human bones scattered around, but did not heed them. This inn has been a curse on our bloodline ever since. Madness and death claims those who stay here. This time last year it claimed my father. Soon, I am certain it shall claim me. Uh, hmm. Talk to innkeeper about ale. One was not in the mood for alcohol. Um, talk to innkeeper about island? Owen didn't think that relevant. Um, talk to innkeeper about father. So why do you remain? I do not believe in fleeing from the mistakes of the past. If the Almighty wills that my family must pay for our errors, then this I accept. But I would not see another suffer for our sins. Leave now before the shadows take you. Um, talk to innkeeper about shadows. I'm gonna guess no. Didn't understand the word shadows. About storm? Thank you that the storm think you that the storm shall continue through the night? Perhaps, perhaps not. It shall be as it shall be. Um Talk to innkeeper about Madness. Didn't understand the word madness. Um Talk to innkeeper about God. <laughs> Didn't understand the word God. Um, oh, bed. Owen didn't think that relevant. Um, talk to innkeeper about. Um, death? Sir, I have little patience for fables. 
and even less for riding after sundown in the middle of a downpour. Lend me a room, and I shall take the responsibility for my own well-being. You will insist? Not only will I insist, but I will pay whatever price you ask. Go, then. Take the upstairs room. And if you remain by the morn, you shall pay nothing at all. Oh. Open door. Look around. The guest room of the unicorn was a little bare but quite functional. Two beds and a dresser were the only furniture, and a set of stairs was the only exit. Look at dresser. A slightly decorative wooden dresser stood in the corner. Um, open dresser. What? It was completely empty. It seemed to be only for show. Um, go to sleep. Owen lay himself down, intending only to test the bed's softness, but in his exhaustion he quickly succumbed to sleep. In the early hours of the morning, something jolted Owen from his slumber. What? Piercing sound? No. A piercing smell? Uh, look around. The guest room of the unicorn was a little bit... Oh, jeez. Okay. Wait, what'd that say? Hang on. Look around. Guest room of the unicorn. Furniture. Only exit. Uh -huh. You had something else happen. In the corner, smoke appeared to be rising from the floor. Look at smoke. Nothing seemed to be burning in the bedrooms, but smoke had to be coming from downstairs. The place is on fire. Oh. Look around. The unicorn was small, but secure, blah, 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 blah. Someone had lit a fire by the door, filling the inn with a burning smell. Uh, look at fire. A blaze had been set before the front door. By whom? The innkeeper? Uh, look at barrels. Number of ale barrels ale barrels were visible behind the bar. Um, push barrels. Perhaps someone should try rephrasing that. Open barrel. That might have made sense in our time and place, but not then. Um, hmm. Uh, break barrel. Oh god, was it? Damn it, come on. Owen saw no reason to engage in violence. Open door. Um, check. Or no. Look at window. We can go out the window, maybe? 
the rain continued to pour down outside, Owen found the the contrast quite warming. Open window? What? Owen intended to remain on the dry side of the wall. Oh. Look at bed. Beds were simple peasant fare. The mattresses no doubt stuffed with prickly straw, but they would have to suffice. Something else. The top sheet had been disturbed by Owen's sleep and now lay wadded up untidily at the foot of the bed. Take sheet. Owen took the sheet with, with him, presumably for comfort. Um, use sheet. Oh, wait. I, I got it. Hang on. Let me try this. This, this is going to be dumb, but... Okay, there's two things I can try here. Come, would you go down the stairs, please? Use sheet on fire. Owen would have to get closer to the flames first. Use sheet on fire. What in God's name? Oh God. It's him, the innkeeper. What kind of... Who could have... Oh! Once again, I returned, disoriented from my vision. What the hell? I was closing in on the source of the madness. The innkeeper had said that the wood came from a tree on an island. Could that have been Clan Bronwyn Island? Oh, the one we're on. Given what I was seeing, it seemed a valid, if worrying, possibility. Besides that, it seemed, I had no other leads. So what would I do? I was determined not to let the trail in there, if there were just a single clue. <laughs> okay, hang on. Before I do this, save. Uh, save over DZ2. Oh, okay. Look at note. Come on. Trilby, I know you are following a trail. Go to the roof if you wish to proceed. Linkman. Is there more? Victim 2, the innkeeper. Well, I mean, more than the innkeeper died that night. 1. The second man who desired judgment was the innkeeper, who had bought the wood of the tree and built from it his house. The prince came to him and his guest, and he struck the innkeeper down, and the innkeeper knew the name of the king. And the prince turned to the innkeeper's guest, and he said, You I shall not let live, for once... For once before have I made this warning, and still my soul aches with what is done to the wood that is my soul, and I will spare no man who injures me in this way. What the hell? And the innkeeper's guest knew the name of the king. Uh, okay. open door so go to the roof it said huh should I just go straight up or do I look around a bit okay hang on I did save so we might be near the end of the game
I don't know where our bed went, though. Our bed's in 2B, right? If I'm remembering right. Open door. No one in here. Open door. The so Linkman's telling me to go to the roof, so we'll try and go to the roof. It's the only place we haven't been. door was either stuck or locked. Huh. Use lock picks on door. I think I did this before. I should probably be more specific. Unlock door. After several minutes, I was pretty sure I had succeeded in picking the lock, but the door still refused to open. Yep. Look at wall. Like, there's an indentation in the wall here. I stared blankly. Look around. I was in the main stairwell of the Clan Bronwyn Hotel. Okay. Check wall. I stared blankly. Touch wall. I wasn't sure how to. Um. Examine wall. That says I stared blank. Yep. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. Uh. Open door. Pushed my way through the door and es descended the fire escape. Oh, hi. Uh, the ladder's gone. Look around. Absolutely no grass or plant life remained in the yard. The floor was well trodden and muddy, blood spattered. Spatters marking a trail to some kind of sacrificial altar. Look at altar. Blood was pulled on top of the altar, evidence of blasphemous rituals that had taken place here. An odd occult symbol was carved into the surface. Four equilateral triangles arranged into a star contained within a, lar a single large circle. Four triangles. Okay. Look at window. This window too had been boarded up by an unknown hand. Um whole board. I wasn't sure how to. Fence. Tall broken wooden fence enclosed the entire yard. Some poor creature must have injured itself on it at some point, perhaps in a desperate escape attempt. Um, I'm 
we've got climb ladder. Even if I could reach that, reach what remained of the ladder, I highly doubted it would support my weight. Crap. Speedy cola, lock picks, and pills. Um. Take pill. I took another pill. Oh, it was instant this time. Climb ladder. Come back up ladder, entered the same floor I'd come from. Okay. Open door. What's that? Look at bed. A neatly made bed dressed in chintzy fabrics occupied the corner of the room. What's on it? For some reason, a porcelain arm had been laid out on the bed. Look at arm. It was the arm from some kind of extremely well-crafted life-size porcelain doll. Take arm. I took the arm with me. Look at wall. Stare blankly. Look at spot. I guess that's a light fixture on the wall, maybe. Yeah. Open door. Okay, so we found an arm. Open door. Door was locked. Unlock door. Use lock picks. I had no breaking into a room, someone I didn't... Okay, fine. Fine, be that way. Hmm. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to call it here for now. Let me just save again. I have an idea on what we need to do. I'm just not 100% sure how, and it's just going to involve a lot of searching around anyway. But uh, we will uh, we'll look into that in the next part. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you want to see more, and share it with anyone else you think might enjoy it. If you want to suggest a game, leave it in the comments below, and check out links in the description for Trilby's notes if you do want to try it for yourself. Uh, also, check out links in the description for Vodka. He's a good friend of mine. Um, he's the one who requested that I play uh, these games, the Chizo Mythos games. And I'm, uh, I'm glad to do it. They've been a lot of fun so far. Uh, so they started up their YouTube channel recently. Link in the description for it. Go check them out. You won't regret it. And in the next part, well, we've got some searching to do, because we, uh, well, our only clue now is to get to the roof. So we'll see. We'll see what, uh, we'll see what we can get done. Until then, though, this is DZ, your overlord, Desiran. You all have a great day, and I'll see ya. Ha 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 